go to look at houses. Welcome back to my channel. Good morning, guys. That's a lie. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It Welcome is. back to my channel. I'm so excited for this video because in the past, you guys know that we looked at houses, but we are officially looking at houses to buy. Not rent. Buy, like purchase. Like, I give you this much money and you give me a house. And not a house. throwing money away on renting. And not throwing money away on renting. If you're new here, I'll catch you up on... On, how do you say that? I'm, I'm Hispanic. How do I say that? Catch you up on speed? Speed you up on what? How do you I'll bring say you up to speed? I'll bring you up to speed. <laughs> Taz and I were looking to move out of our apartment and into a house rental. But when we were started looking, our realtor friend told us, why don't you guys try to buy? It might be a little bit more difficult, but if it can be done, you'll be just in a much better position. And while we don't know that we want to stay in Houston forever, I think it's a really great investment instead of just throwing money away on a rental. So, Taz and I have been doing some research and we have like idea of what we like, but we've never seen these houses in person. So today... Just seen them online, and so... Yeah, so today we're, we're gonna, gonna go check them out. look at some houses. And I'm really, really pumped. You guys, like I'm really, really pumped. So, we should also say that we are not looking inside of Houston, we're looking on the outskirts of Houston. So not in the city. We prefer a bigger place right a bigger house and not be in the city i don't really care to be in downtown or in houston i'd rather have a bigger home more space yard for the, a dogs, yard for the dogs and storage. just yeah yeah so that's what we're doing we're going out and starting going right we're starting in katie moving in or what are we doing? so to start we're going out to katie which is a suburb of houston there are developments and builders build within the development. So we find where a builder builds, we're gonna go check out their model home in that development. Yeah, so one thing I learned in this process is that each builder, like Taz just mentioned, they are in a community. Some builders are in a community. So you can have one builder in a community or you can have up to, I don't know, eight, let's just say. So if we find a house that we like in, let's just say a different suburb like Sugarland, but we wanna live in Richmond, more often times than not, we could have the same house in a different community. Built it, built there. Yeah, so that's why we're kind of like all over the place going to a couple different communities just to kind of see where we want to be, how far we want to be away from things, etc., etc. And the problem, another problem with these developments is a lot of them are so new that there's nothing around them. Literally like cows. The, yeah, there's fields and cows and there's not much going on as far as like other stuff like grocery stores and restaurants. It'll be like um, New Hampshire again. Yeah. But in like three to five years, it's gonna be very developed. So right. it's like, do we want something now, like a community now, or can we hold off and get something cheaper now and have yeah. a community later? So um, just getting a feel for the actual area and the houses that are in the development, I think. Okay. We have about 30 minutes. We got about 30 minutes. We'll see you guys there. See you guys there. See you guys later. I can't even speak. See you later. Yeah. See you later. We'll see you later. Later. Bye. Let's see. I'm ready. You ready? First yeah. stop. Hey, Hoof! This is what I like. I just want a lot of light. I don't want mine with the big spider, though. <laughs> Do you like it? What don't you like about it? It's big. I mean, this is nice. Can I use the bathroom? Can you? At least. Have Hi. What are your thoughts? Well, I mean, you haven't even been downstairs, but. Initial thoughts. What? What about it? I don't know. How it's decorated? I uh, think that's what I'm doing. So, she has a hard time. Really hard time. Like, like seeing how person, they how they are, and so if it's decorated wrong, she doesn't like it. But she can't like tech 
decorations out and like see it as our own. Right. Um, I'm really yeah. So like I, I like it a lot. I no, like the colors. No, but it just feels like a little, a little narrow, like a little. And I think that we've been talking about having a big open. Oh yeah, this does not look open to me. I think it doesn't look open because of how it's decorated. Mm, like no. this kind of closes it off. Yeah. Like it's, it's very, it's as open as you can get. Like the kitchen into like the informal dining into the living room. It's like open, tall ceilings. Yes, but. <laughs> There have been other homes that we've seen online. Right. Five hundred thousand dollar homes. No, not those. That appear to be much, much bigger. Appear. Exactly. This appears to be much, much smaller. You feel what I'm saying? Kind of. But of I like course. It. Okay. All right, we're gonna go upstairs. I think the one thing I do love about it is that this is really open. And I think that's what we like as well. But it just feels really narrow. Mm-hmm. Coming in, you know. I think we saw this one online, right? Yeah. Hey, that's a real spider. Yeah. <laughs> Foreshadowing? Hey, hey. Nope. Can't say that because we're gonna expect things. All right, quick. What do you like and what do you don't like? It feels too narrow, and okay, I know it sounds silly because it's very open, it has big windows and stuff. Mm -hmm. And second, but. The ones that I've seen, it just feels much more open. Gotcha. And what do you like? Don't laugh. But I like how open it is. There's a lot of light. Yes, this, there's a lot of light. Like with all these windows. There's those windows there and those yeah. windows there. And just everywhere. So even on a cloudy day like today, it's mm -hmm. very bright in here. Mm -hmm. I like the tall ceilings here. Mm -hmm. How it's very open. Being tall people, we need like openness. And I like how big it is overall. This is like a four four bedroom plus a study. Plus an I like how big it is, but it doesn't feel that big. Does it feel I'm, massive? I don't, I don't know. It still feels kind of cozy. Yeah, it just feels a little cluttered. Maybe not cluttered. Squished. That's the word. I can see that, I guess. You know? I guess. But. Moving on. Hey, welcome to my crib. Come on in. See, already I like this one better. Really? Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so we're back because I feel like that was a little bit abrupt. We walked to the house again and Taz has some pointers, not pointers, some, some comments he would like to share about what he likes in this house. Here we go. We gotta come back here so we can talk as we do it. So we can give them an idea, right? Yes. What Yami said at the beginning is like when you walk in, the hallway's a little bit wider. So it feels bigger and then it kind of opens up into the living room or the dining room. So it does feel bigger, but the downfall of this one is that when you walk into the main living area, the ceilings are much shorter. Yeah. Um, and like this. And yeah, she doesn't like this. I, this likes to be, if we could just like get rid of that and put it, just, just knock yeah. that out. And I think that's a big thing for us being so tall, like we need taller ceilings. So like if we can mix and match things, like take the entryway of this house and like mix it with the tall ceilings in the kitchen of the other house. And, and like the, like the master that master suite. bedroom, let's show them that. Yeah. It's big. And the master here is really nice too. Like it's, it's just very long. Like yeah. you can walk, very spacious. But I like the master bathroom. bathroom. The other one is better. I like the so shower. You know, if you are watching this and you decorate homes for a living and model homes, Please stop it with all of this different colors and textures. Like, and I get it, but like, this is a little much. Yeah, a little much. <laughs> I like the, the closet of the other one. Yeah. I said this one's not bad, but. This is like the opposite you know, next. The other one was wider. Yeah. So that's what we gotta say about this one. We're headed to the other model now. Nope, um, other builder other now. Builder. Yes. The model home, Meritage Homes. Correct. This is K Hobie and Right, let's do it. This is the Meritage Home. What's it? What's it? Te Texacoma. 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 Te Texacoma. Te Texacoma. Four bedroom, three and a half bath. So this is a little taller. Yeah. Which is nice. This is not bad. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah. This kind of this room. This is our, our current apartment. our current apartment. <laughs> All right. So it's open. 
This is a master bedroom. Also pretty big. A lot of their homes will come upgraded. Will come like upgraded. What other builders consider an upgrade? It will come with that already. Pretty big closet. Yeah. So I probably have just my size. <laughs> Not. So I probably have this rack, and Jan would have everything else. <laughs> this is a one story. No, it's two. Oh, it is too. Smart garage door. Morning rush got you second guessing. Just add Wi-Fi and use your phone to make sure it's closed. What do you think, babe, so far? I don't mind it. This feels like a family home. Yeah. Like yeah. it feels like yeah. a home where you'd have a bunch of kids running around. Yeah, and we don't have that, so. All these baby signs. Nope. <laughs> okay, friends. So we looked at it. We didn't love it. We spoke to the lady again, and she gave us keys to a house, so we bought Woo! a house. And so what we're gonna go do now is, there's one house that has the open concept, I so see. we're gonna go look at that model now, see what it's like. Is it this one? No, no. There's nothing out here, guys, like look at this. All the homes being built here. What are you laughing at? So that's what I was talking about when like some of these developments are so new that there's nothing around. Now you can see it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Welcome home, guys. <laughs> Welcome home. Yeah. No, hate it. Oh, okay, bye. Hate it already. I mean, let's just go look, but. Oh, no, that's not what she said. This is not the one. This with... is not the tall one. Is it that one this is there? not the tall one. Okay. All right, we're just gonna nip it in the butt. Let's go, bye. So, that was very quick. We walked in. We immediately saw it and we're like, mm, no. Do you see that? You guys, do you see that? It's an in and out In and out Burgers in Texas. Uh-oh. I don't like it, so I'm not worried. But you. I'll eat that. <laughs> Literally nothing around here. I just mapped the airport. It's an hour and 10 minutes from where we are right now. We're not even at the place yet. So we're 10 minutes away. So I'm gonna go with uh, an hour and 25 minutes what? to the airport. This is where it like, gets hard because like, do you wanna be away from civilization to have a bigger house? Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is literally night and day. Where we are right now is beautiful. Beautiful community, but we were literally back in New Hampshire two minutes ago. It didn't feel like we were in Houston. It just felt like just dirt roads, some cows, some, a sign that said, we'll accept clean dirt, not dirty dirt, just clean dirt. And I was just, you know, confused. But now where we are, it's very, very nice. So I am torn. On the way here, I was like, I don't think I can do this because city center, I mapped that out as well. And that will be about 45 minutes from where we are right now and that's where I teach <laughs> and usually it takes me like 15 minutes to get there so this is definitely something to think about like I know I'm gonna fall in love with this house so I'm trying to like prepare myself because this is the house that I've been looking at online so I don't know what do you guys think would you take the house of your dreams if it was further away or would you come a little closer and compromise, compromise and downgrade <laughs> don't downgrade just like just compromise on certain things let me know what you prefer. Hi. So we just went into a model home, the one that we came to see to get the keys and we spoke to the lady um, and gave us a little information on that, which we're gonna go see in a second. But right next to that model home was another model home from a different builder and that's where we are right now. And this is what I was talking about when I liked the open space. Like we're in the kitchen right now, but the living room is like right there. This is obviously not exactly what I would like. Like Taz and I just said that we don't love. Like put the TV. Put the, I put the, the TV, middle. yeah, there. But I mean, this is nice. Let's go over the master bedroom. I don't like how that's like a wall. I wish it was like a, what are they called? Like, um, like the bars, the railings. The railings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
queen. Gotta go. <laughs> Closets. Oh, well, they match. They just. Oh, they can join. Uh, okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so it's now been like two hours and we still haven't seen the home we came to look at. But it's only because there are all these models around here and we just went to Newmark Homes. I don't know what it is about this. All the sales associates that are in the homes today are like older ladies that work once a week. They're stepping. They're all a lot retired. Of the sales guys and girls are not here today. That's just like the thing. It's a day off and so like they have temps. Yeah. But they're the cutest. They're awesome. They're great. Cutest little things in the world. And we just had like an hour conversation with our friend. And she just gave us a lot of insightful information that we otherwise would not have known. And it's things that are going to be very helpful when we go to close on a house. Close and negotiate and yeah. like make sure things are done. Right. right. So I'm very, very happy we had that conversation. I told her that we were going to invite her to the wedding. <laughs> She's, and she's also been up. married for 50 years and she's like if you want more um insight on how to stay married come back on thursdays <laughs> it was just really cute but now let's go look at the house that we came to look at okay here we go literally right over So the mattress is a little small, the actual room, in comparison to what we've seen. But the bathroom. This is the tub. And we've got a shower. This is not as big as the other one, mm -hmm. unless we're looking at the other side. So crazy big. Ridiculous. I will say that I don't like Why is that mirror like that? Mm. Like I love the bathroom, but like, give me a frame. At mm. least give me one mirror. Yeah. Not like, you know? Oh my God, I almost just hit that. <laughs> I do like these barn doors though. This would be a really good space. No. Mm -hmm. Extra room there. And an office here. Hello. What do you think, babe? Um, I'm thinking it's a little small. <laughs> it is now 6.20 and we just walked out of the most beautiful house I have ever laid eyes on. It was... Okay, that's not true, but it was the most beautiful house I've seen today. Mm -hmm. I realize we haven't showed you the home, so I'm going to insert the clip that I took but it was crazy because it, first of all, it had the two double doors that I love and then it's just ginormous and then you walk in, you, it's already open and then you walk a little bit further and it's even more open and you see like the kitchen and like a, not a breakfast nook, but like a snack area and it's got like these barn doors for the office and then it's got a, an, like two rooms in the front and then the main room was just ridiculous and the backyard, <gasps> Taz said it perfectly, it's definitely an entertaining so we have like a lot of friends that come over, mm. so we're automatically disqualified. Right, yeah. <laughs> we obviously, have people to fill up the house. Right. Obviously, the house is like way too big for us right now, but it's definitely something to keep in mind for the future. And the thing with these model homes is that they just like put everything they can possibly put in it to make you fall in love. 
and they'll be like, oh, it only starts at 400,000. And then all the upgrades, you're up to like $750,000. So it's a reminder that, you know, you can't fall in love with the model home. You have to look at it with bare bones. And I really wish that's what the model homes would be. Give it to me bare. You know what I'm saying? That was today. I had so much fun, honestly. Touring model homes. Yeah, touring model homes and speaking to all these lovely ladies. And they just gave us really, really insightful information. Think about it. It's like the grandma that's looking out for you. We gained a lot of good knowledge. And I'm really, really excited to keep looking. And I think we've X'd out a couple things. And Yeah. Let us know what one you guys like most. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Send all the positive vibes your way. This, not your way. Well, I mean, your way too. But send all the positive vibes our way that we find a home and we find a wedding venue. And we, we have a lot going on right now. So it's a very exciting time, but also a very stressful time. And one of the ladies on the way out, she was very, very cute. And she was like, enjoy this time. And it like struck something with me. Like we're so quick to just want whatever it is we're going through. And we forget that, again, awesome. cliche, but it's about the journey, not the destination. So I want to try to enjoy every single minute of this. Mm -hmm. And they all made it wonderful. So that's it. I'm rambling now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know what was your favorite. And answer my question. If you could choose, would you pick your dream home further away from like civilization? civilization? Like let's say an hour away. Or would you want to stay closer smaller but house, a smaller but house? Access to a lot more yeah. stuff. Let us know below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one.